Hello and welcome to the Gaming Chronicles. Today we will continue the pixel remaster release of Final Fantasy 2. So let's fire it up. Alrighty, in our previous episode we braved Semit Falls, we retrieved the Mithril, and then afterwards I uh, did a bit of off screening and <clears throat> Leveled up our HP MP and check out our evasion now. So Furion's at 3 uh, times 99. And Maria 3 times 99. Guy 3 times 93. And Minwoo 3 times 90. And I haven't really been tracking their magic defense just because right now... That's not a huge deal. It will become vastly important later on. However, right now, evasion is the most important thing. And then, of course, we have our weapon skills. Um, Furion's almost 9 with swords and shields. Maria, almost 9 with uh, stabs and shields. <coughs> Guy, 8. And even Minwoo is up to level 6. So, we're doing pretty dang good. We are certainly more powered than we need to be. Uh, so anyway, let's go into Salamand. Now that we have obtained the Mithril. And let's talk to people. Take the Mithril to Altair. Okay. Well, I want to hang out for a minute. Okay, so we've got 2,500 gil. Now, we are going to need to start collecting gil a little bit. Because... Uh, with all the spells that we will buy here, plus in um, uh, Basque and a couple pieces of armor, we will need about 11,000 gil. I'm just going to check out the armor shops. I don't think that I'm missing anything from Salamand. Yeah, we definitely don't need weapons. <clears throat> okay, let's... Uh... Talk to all the townspeople. Everyone's very grateful. Does everybody say the same thing? Move, please. Ah. There's no way to cross the snow on foot. You'll need a snowcraft. Oh, okay. Okay, I wonder if we went to the blue stone now. If we could get it. I think we need... We do need Joseph to, like... Punch the wall open. Okay, I'll do it. Do you say the same thing? Hey, what's up? Is that all you have to say? How about thanks for saving my daughter? Hey, you're welcome, Nelly. At least I have some gratitude from her. At least she has manners. So, you have this... I love Joseph, but... I are you are you his wife or are you like someone who's his girlfriend or what's your relationship with this man I need to know this um, anyway where am I going I need to leave town I need to go back to Altair um, so let's take the boat <coughs> And, uh, yeah, it's... I don't really want to fight any battles on the overworld. Yeah, especially not... Hornets and stuff, they don't give good gil. Uh, Poft, I don't need to... Oh, wait, I need to talk to the, to the pirate. The skipper, whoever you are. The the charter. One ticket to Paloom, please. Thank you. Alright, now we need to get back to Princess Hilda to let her know the good news. Oh man, come on. Seriously? 
like right at the gates. What's up, everybody? I'm back. Yes, it will one day, I promise. Does it taste good? Of course it tastes good. Uh, let's... We need to take it to Tobol, right? We don't need to take it to... Um... To Hilda. Yeah! Not that we're actually going to purchase any Mithril gear. We don't, we don't need it yet, or want it. Mithril gear is okay uh, for... I can buy the equipment. You should be giving it to me for free. I'm the one that did all the work to bring this back to y'all. Nonsense. Yeah, whatever. Um, how, uh, but yeah, Mithril gear is adds decent. And the armor is not bad for magic penalty. So Altair are going to be taken over by the Empire too. Um, not exactly. Yeah, I know. What's up, Gordy? Oh, stop feeling sorry for yourself. It's it's time. It is time that you got over yourself. Alright, let's go talk to Hilda. Organs replace the Dark Knight as commander. Oh, okay. Oh, good for you, Mr. Hypnosis? That's... That's, uh, unnerving. Okay, kid. You do that. Um, hmm. Your doomsday and yeah, your doomsday sayings aren't uh, what I'm looking for, old man. Yeah. Oh, we already learned it. Oops. Um, ask about. The Dreadnought. We have a man in Basque. He's found his way to Dries the Dreadnought. I want you to destroy it. Or delay it. Okay. Alright, well let's let's go. Let's go. <coughs> Excuse me. Alrighty. We're gonna be doing a lot of running around this episode. Yep, you're right. You heard right. Good job. Okay, we are going to go back to... Poft via Palum, and then we're going to go to Bafsk. Run away. Is such nice weather. Okay, uh, we'll go around the mountain range. Ambushed! What? Uh, please don't. If the queen bee, I bet will envenom me. So I'll have to cast Esther out of battle, which is fine. No? Okay, good. I just say that because luck like that always seems to happen. Have places to be, and the RNG just doesn't want you to get there. It's like, no, we don't want you to flee, we want you to fight. All these 
low level enemies that provide no value to you in battle. Fine, we'll fight you. Just so we can take your gill. Since goblins may give decent gill for low level as they are. <coughs> Okay. What's up, people? Oh, thank you. Why would I need a pass to destroy to board the dreadnought? Wouldn't wouldn't the Palamecian troops just? I don't feel like working at all with that buffoon <laughs> Borgian chart. <laughs> That's funny. So no one apparently likes Borgen, even though. He's a turncoat. Um, let's see what everybody has to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's up, Borgen? Oh, shut up, man. You're so full of yourself. It's not dealing with his peasants as you should. Well, how should he? Huh? Alright, let's take a look at their spells. Okay, fear, Bastina, Essena, silence. So we'll need Bastina and Essena. We won't buy him yet, though. There's our guy, but let's not talk to him yet. Let's see. Oh, we want to come in here, actually. Um, we do want to buy a few of these. Okay. This increases our defense and magic defense. However, and it does not reduce our evasion, and it also um, has only a 1% um, magic penalty, which is awesome. He goes up to 9. Oh, he goes, it increases evasion. Well, that's even better. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, that's all we need from armor and weapons. So let's now dive into the sewers. <laughs> You're right, I didn't hear that. But what do you know about Wild Rose? I was here looking at Great General Borgen is anything but. He's just a domineering blowhard. <laughs> uh, oh, Mithril? Dreadnought. Okay. Hey, where'd you go? He disappeared. <clears throat> okay, so let's uh, go through the sewers here and blow up a dreadnought. Uh, no, I don't want to fight these guys. I will take some fights here. Um, Longsword. You know what, I think I'll go ahead and equip that. I don't care that it reduces my accuracy. Broadsword. Attack 8, accuracy 60, evasion 2. Um, yeah, that's fine.
Hmm, interesting. Okay. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and equip the longsword. Uh, let's go ahead and just... Let's just attack. Or, let's see. Should we be using our magic? Hmm. Get our casts off. Probably just should be doing that, huh? Yeah. My bad. Since we're, we're really not going to be utilizing any of these battles to level up weapons, so... Uh, let's pick the lowest levels and... One, two, three, go. <clears throat> we should be able to use our magic very liberally. Very nice. Okay. Let's see. There's not any other chests, is there? Nope, not seeing them any there, just at the bottom left. Uh I guess yeah, let's go ahead and just take all the fights. Just so we can get our get our casts in. Help level up our offensive spells. Unless, and here's the part where I don't entirely grasp how the, uh, oh dear, um, is it thunder or fire? Uh, I got one of them at least. Shell up just in case. Nice. Uh, I, I don't know if longbow. Um, like if it matters. Let's do the same thing. That uh, you cast offensive spells. Well, no, it it the the enemy level does matter. So if you cast it on yourselves, of course, that it, it'll continue to level up. But uh, if you cast it on enemies, it won't give you spell experience unless they're a certain rank. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, let's just do this again. Uh, let's go ahead and blizzard, thunder, attack, attack. <coughs> or main, we could just defend. Since he's really not going to be doing much damage to anybody. Uh, except maybe these guys. These are some low-level creatures. Yeah, I think because, yeah, they're already level 3, I don't think that our offensive spells are going to be going up levels here, so... Huh. And if I pay attention to the victory screen, I don't think that these things give us good gil. Yeah, nah. Let's just uh, let's just skip these those stupid um, leg eaters and bam. Aha, zombies! Nice. This is what we want. Um. Goodbye. Hmm, I thought they gave more gill. 
preemptive strike. No thanks, you guys don't give good enough gill to be worth my time. Oh, is that it? Guess so. You're too late, the dreadnought is complete. Neil with what? Okay. Wait, where'd you come from? Man, you are quite irritating, Count Borgen. Uh-oh. Well, we didn't blow it up after all. Oh, dear. I was... Hoft. And there's Altair. Oh dear. Well, this is definitely not good. Preemptive strike. Oh, Thunder did level up. <clears throat> Nice work, Maria. All right, we got a boarding pass. All right, well. Hmm. That should do it. Oh, so I'll just use... Oh. Do I not have enough HP? I guess not. Or I guess that this is just not somewhere I can teleport from. Huh. I didn't gather much gill in here, did I? Hmm. Um. No, let's see if we can get more fights. Not these. I thought that the zombies gave decent gill. Hmm. We not we might not be able to buy all of the spells, all the yeah all the spells that I thought we would be able to. It's thirty seven. Okay, that's better. Always cast. Let's uh, just defend with you. <clears throat> you can always cast buff spells to get experience with those. So we'll just do that. Very nice. Now we didn't need to do that though. Goodbye. Varian Blizzard leveled up. Okay, so. Hmm, okay. It's good. Blizzard level 4. Ooh, fire. Nice. Well, I was hoping for more. 
battles that would give us a gill. Hmm. That's okay. <clears throat> Come on, run away. Zombies. Ambushed. Oh, come on. So dumb. <clears throat> All right, yeah, let's just get out of here. See if we can get a nope. Fire. Nice. Yeah, only eighty-one. Only eighty-one gil from them. Yeah. And such hopes. Uh, let's just go ahead and cast cure to get cure experience. Yeah. Teleport experience. Goodbye. Very nice. Alright, excellent. And we'll teleport a little up. Garlic. What does garlic do? Da oh, deals damage to the undead? <laughs> That's funny. I wonder... Just do the same thing. Forty six gill. Yeah, we're not getting gill very fast, or we might have to wait until we go and start, um, What area is it? The area to the northwest of Altair. Got him. Very nice. That was better. Because the northwest of Altair is um a higher level higher level mobs, which will, um, give us, uh, what am I trying to say? That'll give us a lot more gill. There are humanoids, um, a couple of spellcasters, um, it's interesting how in RPGs, and I don't know if this is consistent with all RPGs, but with a few series, it seems to be consistent that, like, uh, certain mob types have, uh, carry gold, like humanoids, right? Uh, humanoids typically have the best, um, money... Sometimes weapons drops. Um, you should talk to Sid. Uh, the undead seem to fall, um, also carry a lot of money for whatever reason. Let's see. Let's go ahead and buy our Essen and Bassana just so we don't have to come back here. Oh, no. Oh, wait. What can we... 
sell. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's get rid of the garlic. We don't need that nonsense. Longbow, goodbye. Um, fire tome. I guess we could teach that to one of our fourth members. Hand out, we'll keep that. We'll keep eye drops. Get rid of our clothes. We can get rid of leather armor now. And we can get rid of one of our broadswords. Let's go ahead and rest at the inn. Okay, now we will make our way to, well, Poft. We need to talk to Sid about this dreadnought. Let's talk to the people here, though, first. Late. Yeah, we already saw it bombard it. I think she knows. But thanks. All the Imperial soldiers are gone. Okay, so let's go back to Poft. Uh, let's go ahead and take this fight just because they're they're goblins. They give decent gold. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, two seventy nine. Not bad. Not bad. We still need a crap ton more. From all those spells in um, ambush, really. Rude. We need like 8,000, I want to say, for the spells that we're going to buy in Salamand. Because we need a life tome for everybody. All, all our main three. Um, everyone needs a life tome. Two sap tomes and... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The city does not look very pretty anymore. We didn't need to buy anything in Poft um, for mage, from the Mage Shield, right? Yeah, we got everything we need. So Poft was hit pretty hard. Yep, I will go back to Paloom. Alright, Sid, tell me about the... Uh, <clears throat> Tell me about the Dreadnought. Ah. Blow up the engine. Alright. And tell me about... Ooh, airships are powered by Sunfire. I'm sure it is if it's called Sunfire. Okay, uh, that seems to be all I need to know from Sid. So I need Sunfire to blow up the engine, no problem. Even though it's tricky to control, I'll figure out how to control it, right? Okay. Now we've got to go talk to Hilda about what to do next. Oh, this is Paloom, right? Yeah. Oh, this place got hit, too. Hey, I can heal you, man. I've got cure level 7. Oh, man. That, these town, this town really took a hit, too. Oh, is that the pretty young lady over here that wanted to settle down with me? That is sad. I am so sorry. Yeah. Oh, Paloom got hit hard. That is... Run away. Let's 
someone's gonna pay for this. Just run, 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 run. Okay, so let's go ahead and unequip Minwoo since he's about to leave us. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And Altair. Altair got beaten up pretty badly as well. No one's left outside. Are there any survivors? That's very astute of you, young lady. Yes, I saw. Yep, they sure will. Gordon, did he run away again like he did before? Yeah, I would be too. Yeah, lucky for us the hideout wasn't harmed. Um miraculous that the biggest building in town didn't take hardly any damage like you could see that the the roof had been uh, scathed a little bit but for the entire building to go um, without getting majorly damaged or seriously damaged oh come on old man Give it a rest. Okay. He knows his death is near. All those who must live someday must die. Or, well, I didn't read that in the right order. It is our fate. You just totally dodged the question. Whatever happened to being transparent? What? The fate of the world rests on me. Okay. Let's get one thing straight. It wasn't like two days ago that... <clears throat> well, maybe like in the game time it was longer. Let's say a week or a couple weeks. But not too long ago, I was just... We were just a group of youths that um, knew nothing of battle and that Princess Hilda wouldn't allow to join forces because we would just be throwing our lives away. Um, anyway, let's ask you about Dreadnought. Okay, what about Sunfire? Scott and Gordon. Well, Scott's still taking a nap under the bed, so... <clears throat> we can't um, ask him about it. And Gordon, Gordon ran away. That's what Gordon does. Sunfire, yeah! Huh. Well, I don't know. We'll figure it out, though. But anyway, yeah, now we've gone from youths that know nothing of battle to the three orphan kids on whose shoulders rests saving the world. It's like, way to pass the buck, Hilda. Yeah, you, you might be a great leader in the eyes of your people, but you're definitely a master of delegating. Beyond the physical, what? Was it more than just an arrow? Edgel's torch. Strength farm. It's on his family. Really, he left the dread not that much.
Okay. Uh, King. Help me out, man. No, never surrender. <clears throat> he was such a fine knight. Oh, how men change. Scott sealed the gates of Cash One Keep. Ah. Tell me about Goddess Bell. Only to the Cash One Royal. Well, uh, and of course, Scott and Gordon are the only two that are alive. Gordon would know. But of course, no one's seen Gordon. All right, let's go talk to Hilda. Well, I'm glad your father's condition has improved. <coughs> So it is my intention. I guess so. <laughs> Very assumptive of you, Hilda. But he isn't, so you must. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, you're still expendable, even though the world, uh, the world peace depends on you, or rests on your shoulders. There's nothing I can do but pray for your success. How about? <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, never know. Never mind. Never mind. Joseph knows the snow plains. All right, we'll do. Thanks, Hilda. All right. So the question is, hmm. Do we need to... Ah, no. We'll just, we'll just go straight to Salamand. We will go to Salamand. <clears throat> and then we'll just go ahead and end the episode there. Let's just go ahead and... Buy a ticket uh, to Poft. Ah! But anyway, as I was going to say to Hilda, why don't you equip me with some nice weapons and armor, maybe give me some backup, and... <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, maybe a small entourage would actually be helpful, you know what I mean? Lend me, like, a handful of those... Uh, soldiers with the little feather hats and capes like they'd be they'd be excellent meat shields I'm sure come on go 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 all right we're back to Salamand yep that's old news buddy So, 1,341 gil. Oops. We're just about full on health and gil, or health and MP. Okay. Joseph! Yeah, you're welcome. Um... The deepest parts still have mithril deposits. Ah, so... Sounds like we're going to be back there. When I did my, uh, just practice run through, or test drive, if you will, of the remaster, I didn't notice, notice that. 
Uh, yep, it's already finished. Cool. Yeah, it's a pretty big blue stone. I don't think anybody could miss it. Oh, let's go. Yeah. So, Joseph has a daughter. Nelly. And this lady who's outside. We, we really need to get to the bottom of this. She's she's just kind of chilling outside his house. Kind of like a stalker. Um, I, I'm assuming it, she's not actually his wife. Otherwise, she'd just be inside the house, right? I mean, that, that would be really weird if uh, she was married to Joseph and she just, like, hung outside the house all day and didn't like, spend time with the family or anything with Nellie or Joseph. She's just someone who has a major crush on Joseph. But then, if, uh, if she's not Joseph's wife, you know, what happened to Nellie's mom? Like, did she pass away, like, uh, at a, when Nellie was very young? I need to know the story. Anyway, <clears throat> Joseph is, um, he's, um, punch you in the face kind of a guy. And look at that accuracy. It's amazing. Yeah. He uh, he is a glass cannon, uh, as we will see soon. And he does some amazing um, melee damage with his fists. Okay. We're going to go ahead and save. Let's see. Alrighty. And then in our next episode, we will brave the, um, the ice caves. And... Let's see, let's check, actually, let's check our status here. Level 8, level 9, level 8. Okay, yeah. We will brave the ice caves and uh, get the goddess's bell. And then, I don't remember how long uh, that dungeon will particularly take us. But uh, anyway, we'll just go from there after we uh, get the goddess's bell. So, until our next episode, so long for now.